Did AI detection be used in universities? There are more and more accusations of students using AI when they are not. Many colleges are simply disabling AI detection tools, and increasingly the research is showing that AI cannot be detected. Yet numerous schools continue to rely on services like Turnitin to check if work is AI generated. Students are increasingly getting hit with false positives as a result. They're being accused of using AI when they actually haven't. And now we're beginning to see that the first lawsuits with students and their families suing universities for discrimination. The reality is this is all a temporary issue. Very soon, this won't be a problem anymore. We're currently in a transition phase where institutions like universities believe they can reliably detect AI when they cannot. This issue will only worsen for the educational institutions because more funding is pouring into generative AI. Making AI sound more human is being prioritized over detecting generative AI. If you consider it an arms race, the money is heavily weighted in one direction. OpenAI, the creators of ChatGPT, even had an AI detection division which they discontinued. It's essentially a losing battle. Within a year, possibly sooner, it will be impossible to determine if something is AI written and the risk and liability of false accusing a student of using AI will be too great. Educational institutions face a dilemma with AI detection. While they can currently identify AI written content with some accuracy, this really is temporary. Soon the detection will become impossible, forcing a fundamental rethinking of education. Options include returning to traditional methods like handwritten tests, embracing AI integration, or finding a middle ground. However, by delaying these difficult conversations and relying on increasingly ineffective detection tools, institutions are only postponing the inevitable need to redefine education for the AI era.